What's up guys, this is Nathan and I'm Reviewer Guy, and I'm here to review the new Saint Sonia album, Flawed Design. This is the sophomore album from the Canadian-American rock supergroup. It's been four years since this band burst out onto the scene and released their debut album. They've had a lineup change or two since then, but they're back with a brand new album. While I thought their first album was solid, it felt like the group was still trying to find their footing, and it sounded like previously unreleased Three Days Grace material. With this release though, they try to think a little more outside the box, at least for portions of this record. They don't exactly reinvent the wheel, but they're trying a couple different things. There are a number of collaborations on this disc. Sully Erna from Godsmack offers a vocal contribution to the lead single The Hunted, which is a song I thoroughly enjoy. I think both Sully and Adam Gantier sound very strong on here, and their voices work together pretty well. It's also a strong track instrumentally. I think it was the perfect choice for a lead single. Sharon Dan Adele of Within Temptation also has a guest vocal appearance on Sirens. She also compliments Adam well, and I like the little symphonic nods they add in this track. Nothing too extravagant, but just enough to make it sound a bit different. Breaking Benjamin rhythm guitarist Keith Wallen helps out on Beast, and while I enjoy that song, I honestly can't tell the difference in the guitar playing. And finally, star set frontman Dustin Bates lends his writing credits to the song Ghost, and it shows. Not to say anything bad about the track, it just has that same type of outer space-like atmosphere that you would hear on a star set album. The album starts out strong, but it loses quite a bit of steam toward the back half. It's a solid effort as a whole, but most of the album's strengths lie within its first half. Some riffs sound like they're being recycled on this disc. For example, the opening to Beast sounds oddly similar to the opening riff from The Hunted. Other than that, the two songs are differentiated well enough. I know I said they were trying new things on this album, and they do that, believe me. They do, but there are still some songs that sound like old, watered-down Three Days Grace music. Like The Fallen and Another Fight. And the closing track, Martyrs, just feels very dull to me. Like I said, most of the album's strengths are in the first half. All the times that I held my tongue So you'd feel fine It all comes back to Flawed design shows promise. It shows that Saint and Sonia are capable of moving forward and incorporating new elements into their music. There are some good heavier instrumentals on here, and Adam sounds strong in this disc, probably the best he's sounded in years, but it feels like they didn't want to take these new concepts all the way, and that's where the album suffers a bit. Overall, I give Flawed design a 6.5 out of 10. I may have scored their debut a little higher when I first reviewed it, but to be honest, I've only gone back to a couple tracks since then. I'd say the two albums are almost on par with one another. Thank you guys for watching the review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this album. You can follow me on my social media links in the description, and check out some more videos in the gimmick on screen. I'll see you all next time.